So the second question has given us a standard quadratic function of f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5. And in part a, we have been asked to express this function in the form of x plus a squared plus b, where a and b are integers to be found. Now, this is, as you guys have probably noticed, a very standard question, um, standard completing the square question. And so there are many ways to solve this. I like to tackle this by individually solving for A and B. Um, now for A, a very simple method for solving the value of A is simply by taking the coefficient of the X term and dividing it by two. So in essence, A would equal to minus four divided by two. And so here we have the value of A is equal to minus two. So now using this value of A, we can substitute this value of A into the initial um, into the form that we want. So if we want the form x plus a whole squared plus b, if we substitute this, if we substitute the value of a into this form, we should get x minus two whole squared plus b. Now, um, to find b, all we have to use is the knowledge that the equation, whether it is, it is in this form or this form, is going to be exactly the same. So in essence, we know that x minus two whole squared plus b would be exactly the same as x squared minus four x plus five. And if we were to expand this and then simplify, we, we would get x squared plus four minus four x plus b is equal to x squared minus four x plus five. We know that the x squared terms and x squared terms can thus can be canceled out. So can the minus four X terms, and this would lead us to four plus B is equal to five, and thus B is equal to one. So now we have the values of A and B. We can thus substitute the values of A and B into the initial form to bring about F of X is equal to X minus two whole squared plus one. That's part A done. So for part B, we have to use this form to help find out the coordinates of P and Q. And we've been told that P is a point where the curve meets the y-axis. And so if it meets the y-axis of point P, we know that point P occurs at a point where X is equal to zero. So all we have to do is substitute X is equal to zero into the initial function. So um, we know that Y is equal to X squared minus 4x plus 5. If we know that uh, we have to substitute x is equal to 0, we know that y is equal to 0 squared minus 4 into 0 plus 5. Thus, y is equal to 5. And this yields us the coordinates of p to be 0, 0,5. Um, now all that's left to do is find the coordinates of q. And we have been told that q occurs at the turning point of the equation. So to help find the turning point of the equation, we can utilize the uh, the completed square version of the equation that we calculated before. If you guys remember, if we have a function in the form of x minus k plus h, the turning point is at the coordinates of k comma h. So using this, we know that the turning points of the function are thus at two comma one. And that is the second question solved.